healthy gut, healthy you. Now, I think this is an important topic. As I was talking with someone earlier today, it reminded me that decades ago, Hippocrates said, all disease begins in the gut. And I think we've kind of forgotten about that with so many people experiencing different types of disease. We're not really understanding that we need to go back and look at our gut. So I like to share a little bit of my story. Many years ago, this has been several decades ago, actually, I began experiencing a host of different problems. And I worked with a nature path that actually introduced a system to me. But the thing that he helped me understand the most was if I wanted to take care of my body, I had to get to the root cause. And most of the times when we experience disease, we're not looking at the root cause. This was super, super important to me because as he introduced this system to me, it helped me understand that if I really wanted a healthy system, it's going to take work on my part. I had to change my diet and look to whole foods as the answer. I had to do a lot of cleansing, a lot of detoxing. And I did several cleanses at that time and increased my water for sure. I took a lot of supplements. And back then I didn't have what we have now, but also he uh, talked to me about target support or those areas that we need a little bit of extra help at that point. I was doing a lot of tinctures and herbals and a lot of different remedies, but I really had to use this four part system together to make it work in my behalf. But what I discovered is it's our habits, not hereditary is what's killing us. Nature, not synthetic pharmaceuticals are, the, are what really have the ability to bring order to our bodies. This was really key. Number three, the root cause of almost all dysfunction, disorder and disease is lack of nutrition and too much toxicity. It all starts in the gut. And number four, I had to learn that I had created my problems, not my ancestors. And because of that, I could fix or change all that through my lifestyle choices. So basically we have a couple of lifestyle choices. We can choose to just give what the world is dishing out or we can be more proactive and really go to whole foods. I discovered that those proactive choices did make a difference, huge difference. And I discovered that I could get well and I did. So as we look at all the challenges that people uh, experience in today's world, we have to look at what is the root cause. And it goes back to your gut microbiome. What disrupts our gut microbiome? And you can look here on the left at many things that can be a cause to disrupting your gut microbiome. There are several factors and several things, but I want to first go into a couple of uh, the last items. So we talk about probiotics, we talk about antibiotics, what are biotics anyway? Basically are resulting from living things. And if you stop and think about it, antibiotics are killing everything. Most of the people in today's world are eating everything dead anyway. Everything they eat, they, few people eat an abundance of live foods. They're eating all dead foods. They're eating everything that's processed and cooked to death and refined in so many ways. And then on top of that, we are taking an abundance of antibiotics that creates more death in your guts. <laughs> we don't have a live, any live uh, microorganisms that are really in our gut. And we are greatly being affected by that, especially because they're overprescribed, overused. They're, they're, um, they are creating this resistance and we don't have that living gut like we should. So probiotics and prebiotics are really what are helpful to 
in boosting our immune system. They really strengthen our urinary tract, our, our gut, uh, our di digestive function, healthy bowel function, healthy skin, and they even combat the foodborne threats. So super, super important as a first thing to really talk about. Next, let's talk about what is leaky gut. Now, this is a topic I think a lot of people are hearing more and more about. And actually, I read Dr. Axe's book called Eat Dirt. This is a phenomenal book and really helps us understand more about leaky gut and how these toxic microorganisms are being flooded into our gut, by the way, of all the things people eat and drink and these antibiotics, these other types of medicines and medications that people are on. And they can actually create those perforations in the gut lining and the ep epithelial layer. And if you can look at all the things on the bottom, the nutrient malabsorption, autoimmunity, food intolerances, and then at the bottom, the, the, uh, all the problems that they can create simply because of what we're eating and what, how it's destroying our gut. So if you look at your gut and what's going on, your gut actually requires 85% positive bacteria, 15% negative bacteria. And most people have that almost switched that they don't have enough healthy bacteria in their gut to actually create a good gut microbiome. So when you eat, your gut must decide, is this friend or foe? So leaky gut in general, it weakens your defense system. The soldiers in your gut army are overtaken. Those perforations in that epithelium layer creates that leaky gut. And you can see the inflammation goes to uh, nutrient malabsorption, creates an immune response. It creates food intolerances, autoimmune diseases of all kinds. And this is a cycle that many people go through day in and day out because of what they are doing. So let's look at leaky gut and autoimmune conditions in general. If you look at that list, and this is again from Dr. Axe and how he talks about how every one of these autoimmune conditions are caused by leaky gut. And it makes sense. It makes sense because I'll go into that just a little bit. Before we do that, let's talk about sun signs of gut toxicity and what you can do about it. So look at all of those different areas. Do you have any of those areas? Are these things that some of your family members or some of your friends are dealing with? It could be gut toxicity. And so let's go into what we can do about it. Number one is to eliminate the root causes. And that is chemicals. Did you know chemicals are in everything we touch to uh, nowadays, almost everything we pick up, everything that we eat, the, our cleaning products, our pharmaceuticals, anything, almost anything is full of chemicals. And this is greatly affecting us. So how do we come in contact with chemicals? through these three exposure pathways, our lungs, when we breathe in, our GI tract through the foods that we eat and through our skin and the things that we touch. And if you think of essential oils, these are the three ways that we use them in aromatically topic. Uh, we use them aromatically, internally and topically. Those are our three exposure pathways as well. So if we look at the seven channels of elimination, this is important for us to understand because if you stop and think about how important it is to change your air filters in your air conditioning unit, change your oil filters in your car, what well, we can't do this in our bodies, but we can cleanse them. 
And on a daily basis, our pathways of elimination are important because this is a way we eliminate any type of toxin. So you can see that our primary channels are our gut, our liver, our colon, and our kidneys. Those are our primary channels. That's the way your body naturally eliminates any type of toxicity. But we do have our secondary channels, our skin, our lungs, our blood, and our lymphatics. So first of all, let's ask the question. I, I think it's important to think about this. If your skin is breaking out, you have rashes, you have blemishes, um, there's things going on with your skin. Most people are just treating the skin where it really is the fact that this is a secondary channel of elimination. It means that your primary channels are not working properly. So we need to go back and fix our primary channels, which are our gut, right? Now, again, another example, lungs, any type of respiratory problems, we again go back to, it's really our gut because our body is working over time to eliminate through our secondary channels. To me, this is super important to understand. And this is why chemicals never were meant to be eaten. We need to eliminate them. Secondly, avoid the processed foods and genetically modified foods. Now, we can see that even on the right, the fresh fruits and vegetables, most of them are laden with all kinds of pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, all of these chemicals in their growing process. And that doesn't stop there. Many times they're sprayed and, and put colors and um, waxes and coatings, and, and then they're processed in all kinds of ways. Our main street market meats, they are as well um, produced with a lot of chemicals and it's more than your body can handle. Then we have the genetically modified foods, all of these can really create havoc in your system. And again, it's something that your body has to work hard to discard. So if you look at the chemicals, the food additives, the refined foods, GMO foods, pharmaceuticals, it equals the leaky gut, which equals autoimmune conditions. So basically the soldiers in your armies are now working against you instead of for you. And that's really what autoimmune conditions are. And that's what's happening and going on. So number three, eat foods that heal your gut and reverse or can reverse those autoimmune dysfunctions. So if you'll see the foods, the difference in the foods here versus some of the other uh, foods that you will see, these are live foods. Most of them are live and living foods. And again, your gut is looking for life and for living microorganisms in your gut. So it's important to look to live foods, get them in your diet, get those uh, fermented foods in your diet as well. Those raw sauerkraut and, and other fermented foods that really feed your gut that positive um, microbiome. Also, you can grow a garden and connect with the earth. That's another way to actually improve gut function. The dirt is not our enemy, it's our friend. And we need to not be afraid of that. That's another thing that Dr. X shares in his book, not necessarily go out and eat spoonfuls of dirt, but don't be afraid to have a little bit of dirt on a carrot that you pull from the garden because that really does help to promote healthy gut function. Eat wholesome foods. They are your, our life source. And I always share with people, don't let our taste buds make all the decisions. Make sure that you're allowing your brain, your organs, your bones, your muscles to have a say in what you need in your gut. The quality matters. So number four, nourishing and cleansing is a must. And this is where I love doTERRA's 30-day gut detox and renew program. It's a phenomenal program. And I can think back, you know, over 40 years ago when I did my cleanse and renew program, you know what? 
all of these things together, I still paid more clear back then because they weren't here together in a program and they didn't work together. So let me go through each one of these and tell you why this is such an important and an effective uh, cleanse and renew program. So first of all, the lifelong vitality. The average diet is represented in yellow and the lifelong vitality is represented in green. Actually, doTERRA has gone to great lengths to do a lot of clinical studies on our lifelong vitality. That includes our alpha CRS, which is our antioxidants, our microplex VMZ, which is really our vitamins and minerals, and then our, uh, our Z omegas, which are omega-3 oils, super, super important for brain and our circulatory system. These together actually make a very, very complete balanced supplement that have many, many wonderful benefits. And if you look at those benefits, it, it's amazing. We have such an excellent set of supplements at a very, very affordable price that really support our whole bodies. Then we have our Terrazyme. Now, it, the picture in the middle shows a sewer pipe. And I like to share this because I think it's important to understand that many of our guts may look like a clogged sewer pipe and they're not really functioning. This is where Dr. Hill says one of our um, other important, well, all of these parts of this program is super, super important. But why this is so important is he said, get up the first thing in the morning, take a big glass of water with a few drops of lemon essential oil and to terrazyme. That actually helps to digest any of that intestinal sludge <laughs> and break down whatever is in your gut and help it export. So it's, it's a great blend of those whole food active enzymes. And we are usually lacking enzymes. And this is, especially as we age, we learn a little bit more that that is so important for a healthy digestion of not only proteins, fats, and our carbs and fiber. So excellent, excellent product to use first thing in the morning, as well as maybe sometimes between meals, with your meals, and before you go to bed at night. And if you're just starting on a cleanse and renew program, you might consider two bottles the first month because it's super important to make sure that you're getting enough terrazyme. Then we have our Zendocrine complex. Now, this is our herbal cleanse. It is good for filtering our five organs, our liver, our kidney, colon, lungs, and skin. Remember I talked about our primary pathways, the liver, kidney, and colon, but it also helps with our secondary pathways, the lungs and the skin. Super important for cleansing. Again, this filtration system, we can't replace it. We can't change it every few months, but we can cleanse it so that it can actually work more efficiently. And if we have an efficient working um, uh, cleansing and filtration system, then our body just runs better just like an air conditioning unit, just like our car. Then we have the Zendocrine oil blend. Again, the, the, the complex was a herbal blend. This is an oil blend. And we can get that in two ways in just the 15 ml bottle of oil, or we can get it in a soft gel. And whatever works for you and however you'd like to take it, it is great with... Um, removing the free radicals that slow your body down. It's good for liver and gallbladder, as well as removing unwanted substances for the body, creating a good detoxification system. And it's also great, uh, full of good antioxidants that are super, super important for replenishing. So the while the complex is more our cleanser, this is more for supporting your body, okay? So next is our GX Assist. Now this is 
the middle 10 days of that 30 day cleanse. This is super, super important. And it is what I call pur for purging the gut of any type of negative uh, bacteria. However, it still feeds and nourishes. And so like maybe an antibiotic will go in and destroy everything. This is very, very good for supporting a good gut. It's removing the bad, but it's actually also feeding your gut so you can retain a, again, a healthy gut microbiome. So again, you're only taking this in the middle 10 days and it's super effective. The number one pe thing people tell me after they've taken this is I don't have any sugar cravings. That's because it's cleansed the candida in your gut. And this is why this can be super beneficial for you. Now, after that 10 days in the middle, the last 10 days of that 30 day cleanse, we add the PB assist which actually, actually your probiotic and well, start over here. It's the probiotic as well as the prebiotic. So if you look at that soft gel on the right, you can see that there's a capsule inside a capsule. Now that outer capsule actually opens in your stomach and it contains that prebiotic fiber, which feeds your probiotic. And it's the forerunner to your probiotic. Now the probiotic is designed to actually make it all the way to your small intestines where it's needed. Most of your probiotics that you take on the market today are killed in your stomach with all the stomach acids. So this is designed to actually feed your stomach with the prebiotic and then have your probiotic make it to your small intestines. Excellent, excellent delivery system. Not like anything else out there. I, I just love this and think it's so highly beneficial. Now, last part on that cleanse and renew chart is lemon essential oil. Super, super important. We need to increase our water, first of all, and eliminate all the other drinks that you're drinking out there. Seriously, because that's where a lot of this gut detox, I'm mean, gut toxicity comes from is all of those processed foods and unhealthy drinks that people drink. So add the lemon or grapefruit essential oil. This helps to accelerate cleansing. It alkalizes, improves digestion and metabolism. It's really good for stimulating good gut activity. Super, super important. And while we're talking about that, um, let's just look at that 30 day detox and cleanse overall. And the thing that I like to encourage people to do is to do it for 90 days, be very consistent and do it for 90 days, commit to 90 days, especially if you're doing this for, um, the first time. The reason is because this is what creates a gut reset if you really want to reset your gut, you've got to do it for 90 days and diet goes with it. Remember what's the first three steps, really eliminating the, the chemicals, eliminating the processed foods, eating whole foods, and then doing this program. Those other pieces are super, super important. And then number five is add essential oils to your daily routine. Now we've learned that it's so important to start with doTERRA certified pure tested grade essential oils because we want to make sure we're taking the best. We're not adding chemicals. We're making sure that we're getting the purest that will support your body's needs, your cells, your circulation, your mood, your natural bodily processes, and definitely for cleansing. And this is super, super important. There's a variety of ways that we can use essential oils. I'm just going to, you know, leave it at you to learn more about that in other ways, but also adding them to your foods I've found is very beneficial because it's all about your gut. So if you start with healthy eating, start with healthy foods, and then you add essential oils, it's great flavors, but there's also many great internal benefits. 
So the plan that worked for me will work for you. This is really what I did all those years ago, but now we have better, more effective products that can really support you in your journey. A healthy gut is a healthy you. Getting your gut in order means long-term benefits. And I know that really just like uh, Hippocrates said, all disease begins in the gut. So if you're experiencing any problems of any kind, start with your gut, follow these steps and see what a difference that it will really make for you. Do I have any questions? Do you find, I, I know for myself, but uh, that it's beneficial if someone say does the cleanse and they do 30, 60 or 90 days, but do you find that um, you can recommend some of those products that are in the cleanse to be used regularly anyway, even if they're not doing the whole thing? Like after they do the cleanse? Actually, I do. I take those on a day, every day. All of those I take on a very on a daily basis, except for the GX assist. You can take that as you need after you get all of it, because to me, and I'm speaking just because as we age, I think that we need a little bit more help along the way, but we definitely need good nutrition. We definitely need good enzymes and we always need to be cleansing our filtration system. So, and we also always need probiotics and uh, lemon for cleansing. So that's a great question because I actually do that on a daily basis. Every day I get all those products except the GX assist. And I take that on a, you know, periodic basis. So absolutely great question. Any other questions? Okay, well, thanks for joining me tonight. It was good to have you here. Hopefully some of these things were helpful for you and um, take it from there. And I hope that you can have a healthier gut <laughs> and a healthier you.